Hello everyone and welcome to Champion Life Center Philippines. Thanks for joining us today in our online worship celebration. Before we begin, take a moment to invite your family and friends right now and tag them on the comment box below because it's going to be an exciting time. If you haven't yet, please also click share or start a watch party so your family and friends can also be encouraged by today's message. And for those who are tuning in with us right now, please let us know that you are with us by saying hi on the comments section. We just want to welcome everyone who are joining us right now, our Champion Life Center Philippines family. How are you guys? We miss you and we miss being with everyone. We also want to welcome everyone else from our CLC satellites. Hello and welcome. Let us know where you are watching today by commenting below. And let us not forget our new friends. If you are joining us for the first time, hello and welcome to our CLC family. We would love to connect with you and know you more. You can do that by um, visiting the link below or on our description box. And don't forget to send us a message right after the celebration. Later on, we will have Brother J.R. Hidalgo to share with us a third part of our series, The Father's Heart, entitled The Heart of Worship. Today is going to be an exciting time, so get ready and be encouraged by today's message. Again, we are so happy to have you all with us here today. And right now, join us in worship and prepare for the world. Good morning, champions. Welcome to our online worship celebration. And we are so blessed that today we can worship our God once again. But before we do that, um, I just want to invite you to pray with me as we um, start the celebration. Our dear Father in heaven, God, we just thank you, Lord, that um, we are so free to offer our worship and lift our hands, Lord God, and just um, lift you high, Panginoon, sa aming mga buhay, Lord God, even though hindi kami magkakasama, Lord God. But as long as we dedicate this time with you, Lord God, we believe, Lord, uh, you see us as the church, Lord God, that loves you. And so, God, before we, uh, we worship, Lord God, before we sing our songs of praises to your name, Lord God, we just pray, Lord, that you, uh, um, that uh, the devil has no power um, over us. We rebuke any distraction types of uh, schemes that doesn't come from you right now we rebuke it in the name of jesus and we just allow your flow your holy spirit to come sweep through us and um, set us free from anything that's bothering us we give you thanks we give you glory in jesus name let's sing this church Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see I want to see Sing that again Open the eyes Open the eyes of my heart 
heart I want to see you like I want to see you to see you how you lifted up shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy 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 to see that again open the eyes open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my heart i want to see you yes god i want to see you open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my heart i want to see I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 to see Our hearts desire, Lord God, 
glory, Lord God, to know more about you, Lord God, and to worship you truly, Lord Panginoon, sa buhay na ito, Lord God. Lord, as we continue to worship you, Lord God, we just pray, Lord, for an open heaven, Lord God. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, that um, we can sing our songs, our offering of worship uh, to your throne, Lord God. Um, Lord, we pray, Lord God, that as we draw ourselves near to you, Lord God, may you draw yourself to us, Panginoon. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, for your presence, Lord. And we believe that in your presence, Lord, there is healing, Lord. In your presence, there is freedom, Lord. Just 
the presence of a holy God. Oh, 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 in your presence, let's continue to sing. In the presence of your infinite mind, I'm so small and frail. power and wisdom, Lord. I have no words left to speak. In the presence of your glory, all my crowns lie in the dust. You are righteous in your judgments, Lord. You are faithful, true, and just. And I cry, holy, holy, holy God, how
changing us, O oh Lord. You're changing our nature, Father, to become like that of Jesus Christ. Lord, I just pray, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Panginoon. I pray para sa mga kapatid namin right now, Lord God, that needs healing, that needs a release, Lord God, that needs freedom from any bondage of the enemy, in the name of Jesus. Lord, hearing your presence, there is total freedom, Lord God. You're so free to move here, Lord. You know, and I just pray that you soften their hearts, Lord God, that they would be able, Lord, to give their hearts wholeheartedly to you, Lord God, to make you the center of it all, Panginoon. Lord, even as the speaker, Lord God, speaks your word today, Lord, we know, Lord God, hindi patapos ang iyong paggalaw sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Not just in worship, Lord God. Even, Lord God, as uh, your word, Lord God, ay ma- makapagsalita, Panginoon, sa oras na ito. We believe, Lord God, there will be change, Panginoon. And that, Lord God, your word, Lord God, will not come to you. Come back void, Panginoon, but it's gonna accomplish, Lord God, its mission. So, Lord, this is our declaration, Lord God. Panginoon, sinusuko namin lahat sa inyo, Lord God, sa oras na ito, God. Just surrender it all to you right now, Father. Come feel us, Lord. Come feel us with your presence. Feel us with your word. Feel us with your spirit, Lord. And thank you, Panginoon, that we're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful worship celebration. Hindi mo kami magkakasama, Panginoon. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, have your way today. We love you. All of this we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning, champions! Welcome po sa ating online worship celebration. We are so blessed and loved dahil magkakasama tayo muli sa umagang ito sa pagbibigay, papuri, at pagsamba sa ating Diyos. Muli, mga kapatid, kung nasaan ka man ngayon, maaari kang bumati sa ating comment section right now and say hi and hello sa lahat ng mga kapatid, kapanalig na kasama natin ngayon online. Kapatid, kung bago ka namin kasama, pwede ka din mag-comment and say I am new para mabati at makausap namin kayo. Now, are you ready to receive the word of God today? Just type, I am ready, or just say, Amen. Let's begin with a prayer. Father God, we come before you today and we ask you, Lord, to touch our hearts, Lord. Open our minds and our hearts. We ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and prepare us as we hear and receive your word today. Lord, let your word come to us and be rooted in our hearts. Let it transform us so that we can apply it in daily life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Kapatid, mahal na mahal tayo ng Diyos dahil ngayong buwan ng pag-ibig ay pinag-aaralan natin ang patungkol sa pagmamahal ng Diyos Ama sa ating lahat na Kanyang tinawag na mapabilang sa Kanyang mga anak. Mga kapatid, magbalik tanaw o aral lang tayo. Nung unang linggo uh, na ibahagi sa atin ni Pastora Gina ay patungkol sa grasya at pag-ibig na pinagkaloob ng Diyos Ama para sa atin. Nang binigay ng Diyos Ama ang kanyang buktong na anak na si Kristo upang tayo'y maligtas sa kasalanan at kamatayan at para magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan sa pamamagitan niya lamang. Amen. At nung nakaraang linggo naman ay naibahagi, no, sa atin ni Brother Marlon ang patungkol sa tunay at wagas na pag-ibig sa atin ng Diyos Ama sa pamamagitan ng kanyang anak na si Kristo na ating Diyos at tagapagligtas. Kapatid, nalaman natin na kailangan nating mahalin 
o ibigin ng Diyos ng higit sa lahat ng buong puso, buong kaluluwa, at ng buong pag-iisip. At sinabi pa na ibigin mo, kapatid, ang iyong kapwa gaya ng pag-iibig mo sa iyong sarili. Amen. Kapatid, yan ang tunay at wagas na pag-ibig na inihayag at ibinigay o pinagkaloob sa atin ng Diyos. Praise God! Ngayon umaga, kapatid, ang ibabahagi ko naman sa inyo ay ang karugtong ng ating uh, series ng mensahe na pinag-aaralan natin ngayong buwan. Patungkol naman ito sa tunay at dalisay na pagsamba sa ating Diyos. Ang sabi nga sa umpisa ng ating pag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos, The Father's love longs to a heart that will worship Him. Ang puso ng Diyos, Ama ay nananabik sa isang tunay na pagsamba sa Kanya. Amen. Kapatid, kahit na tayo ngayon ay dumadaan sa matinding pagsubok sa ating buhay, gaya nitong kasalukuyang uh, pandemic at marami pang iba. Ano ang ilang paraan upang manatili ang ating pagpupuri at pagsamba sa ating Diyos sa kabila ng ating hirap na nararanasan araw-araw? Friends, here are some things to do throughout the day to spend more time intentionally with God. Number one, start your day with Him. Paggising mo palang kapatid ng magtaa sa umaga, magtatanong ka na agad, para kanino ba ako bumabangon? Para ba sa kape o para sa Lord? <laughs> Joke, yung iba, hindi nag-gets yung tanong ko. Maya, mamaya nyo na lang uh, ipaliwanag sa kanila. Amen. Siyempre, para sa ating Diyos, magpapasalamat ka dahil buhay ka at may plano muli ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Number two, pray intentionally. Kapatid, sikapin natin na manalangin sa araw-araw. Ito ay isang mahalagang paraan ng ating pagsamba sa Diyos. Dito po natin nalalaman ang mga sinasabi at uh, direksyon ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Mga kapatid, palagi tayong manalangin at sumali sa mga prayer meetings ng ating simbahan o sa ating arrow power. Isa ito sa tunay at siguradong pagsamba sa ating Diyos. Number three, write down the things you are thankful for. di ba? Kapatid, kumuha ka ng paborito mo na notebook o papel. Isulat mo lahat ng mga bagay na gusto mong ipagpasalamat sa Diyos. Lahat ng mga natanggap mo na biyaya at pagpapala sa Kanya. Kapatid, ang pagpapasalamat sa Diyos ay isang mabuting pagsamba. Amen! Number four, notice your complaints and turn them into praise. Kapatid, dumarating sa buhay natin na marami tayong reklamo o hindi gusto na pangyayari o nangyayari sa buhay natin. Sa pag-aaral, sa trabaho o sa relasyon mo at sa marami pang ibang uh, sitwasyon na nangyayari sa buhay mo. Kapatid, lagi mong iisipin na mahal ka ng Diyos at kailanman ay hindi ka niya iiwan at pababayaan. Kapatid, ang pagtitiwala sa Diyos ay isang gawa at tanda ng pagsamba sa Kanya. Amen. Number five, enjoy God's creation. Kapatid, ang lahat ng ginawa ng Diyos ay mabuti at ganap. Ito ay para sa atin. Dapat natin itong i-enjoy. Ito ay nagdudulot ng kasiyahan at kabutihan sa ating buhay. Kapatid, kapag minamahal at pinapahalagahan natin ang bawat nilikha ng Diyos, ito ay nagbibigay pasasalamat at lubos na pagsamba sa ating Diyos. Number six, love others and love yourself. Kapatid, kung minamahal mo ang kapatid mo at ang iyong sarili, yan ay isang tanda ng 
pagsunod sa utos at aral ng Diyos sa atin. Kapatid, ginagalang at sinusunod natin ng Diyos at ang kanyang mga salita at katuruan. Ito ay nagpapatunay na totoo tayong uh, may puso ng pagsamba sa Kanya. Ito pa kapatid, yan ang ilang mga gawain pala at paraan ng tunay at may puso ng pagsamba sa ating Diyos. Kapatid, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, sabi doon, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Kapatid, sa lahat ng ginagawa natin, lagi nating bigyan ng kapurihan at pagsamba ang ating Diyos dahil ito ay nararapat lamang sa Kanya. Kapatid, Amen! Amen! Friends, may we all have a heart to worship our God. Mga kapatid, nawa magkaroon tayo ng puso ng pagsamba sa ating Diyos because the Father's heart longs to a true worshiper. Friends, our word for today is from Romans chapter 12 verse 1. And so brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship Him. Kapatid, basahin po natin sa Tagalog na Biblia ang pamumuhay Kristiyano. Kaya nga mga kapatid, alang-alang sa masaganang habag ng Diyos sa atin, ako'y nakikiusap sa inyo na ialay ninyo ang inyong mga sarili bilang isang handog na buhay, banal at kalugod-lugod sa Diyos. Ito ang karapat dapat na pagsamba ninyo sa Diyos. Ito ay sinabi at pinapagawa sa lahat ng anak ng Diyos. Amen. Kapatid, paano tayo tutugon sa dakilang habag ng Diyos sa kanyang pinagkaloob sa atin? Ang sagot ay maging isang buhay na sakripisyo gamit ang ating buhay upang sa paglilingkod sa Diyos ay uh, bilang isang uh, gawain ng pagsamba. Mga kapatid, kailangan nating ibigay o ihandog sa, sa Diyos ang ating buhay bilang isang ganap at kalugod-lugod sa Kanya. Isang banal na sakripisyo sa gawain ng kaharian ng Diyos bilang isang handog na may puso ng pagsamba sa Kanya. Ito ay hindi lamang isang paraan para sa ating kaligtasan kung hindi ito ay isang natural na gawain bilang isang kristyano na anak ng Diyos na mayroong Uh, meron ng kaligtasan dahil sa patuloy natin na pakikisa sa ating Diyos. Kapatid, upang gumo, uh, magawa natin ito, kailangan muna nating lumaya no, sa ating mga sariling hangarin at makamundong sistema ng ating buhay para mabago ang ating isip at maintindihan natin ang kagustuhan ng Diyos at maging tunay at ganap ang ating pagsunod at pagsamba sa Kanya. Amen? Amen. Kapatid, uh, inilarawan ni Apostol Pablo ang pagsamba sa ating Diyos. Isang pagiging buhay na sakripisyo na isuko ang ating buhay at matutong magpasakop sa Diyos at nang sa ganon ay malaman natin ang kagustuhan ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Amen? Nagsisimula ito sa paggamit ng ating mga espiritual na kaloob, sa pagbibigay ng serbisyo, sa kapatiran, at sa simbahang o pamilya ng Diyos na kinabibilangan natin. Bilang isang Kristiyano, dapat nating mahalin at itaas ang bawat isa sa patuloy na pagsamba sa Diyos. Kaibigan, in John chapter 4, verse 23, But the time is coming. Indeed, it's here now when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship Him 
that way. Praise God! Now, I'm sharing to you the six ways to become a true worshiper. Ang anim na paraan upang maging isang tunay na sumasamba sa Diyos. Number one, worship with gladness and, jo- and joyful songs. Sumamba ng may kasiyahan at masasayang awitin. In Psalms 100 verse 1 to 2, Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. And in Psalms 149 verse 3, Let them praise His name with dancing and make music to Him with tambourine and harp. The Bible has so many examples of how to worship with gladness and joyful songs. Friends, we can shout to God. We can clap our hands, lift up our hands and stand in awe. We bow down and we dance before Him and we make a loud noise of praise. Kapatid, bilang isang Kristiyano, ang pagsamba ay isang gab- uh, bagay na ating ginagawa. No? Ito ay ang paghahanda at pagbibigay ng ating sarili sa presensya ng Diyos. Kaya dapat natin itong bigyan ng uh, espesyal na atensyon oras sa ating buhay at paggalang dahil ito ay naihahanda natin ang ating sarili sa pagdaloy ng banal na espiritu sa atin. Amen? Amen. Number two, worship with holy fear and awe. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28 to 29, Since we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable, let as be thankful and please God by worshiping Him with holy fear and awe. For our God is devouring fire. Kapatid, sa ating pagsamba sa Diyos, lagi tayong magpasalamat dahil tumatang, tumanggap tayo ng isang ah, kahir, kaharian na hindi kailanman mayayanig o matitinag ng anumang kaganapan dito sa mundo. Kapatid, magpatuloy tayo sa pagsamba sa Diyos, sa paraang kalugud-lugud sa Kanya, na may paggalang at pagkatakot dahil Siya ang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Patunay dito, kapatid, ang sabi ng Diyos sa mga awit, Kabanata 33, Talata 6 at Siyam. Sa utos ni Yahweh, nalikha ang langit. Ang araw, ang buwat, talang maririkit. Ang buong daigdig, kanyang nilikha sa kanyang salita, lumitaw na kusa. Kapatid, talagang napaka, nakakamangha ang lahat ng mga nilikha ng Diyos. Nang ginawa niya ang lahat ng ito, ay hindi siya gumamit ng kanyang mga daliri o ng mga DIY o do-it-yourself kit o pictures o template o da- mga diagrams. Kapatid, nilikha ng Diyos ang lahat ng ito sa pamamagitan ng kanyang kapangyarihan at katotohanan ng kanyang mga salita. At ang lahat ng ito ay naganap at hanggang ngayon ay nakatayo. Praise God! Purihin natin ang, ang, ang Diyos. Hallelujah! Number three, worship with humility. Friends, true worship requires, requires humility. God hates pride. In James chapter 4, verse 6, And He gives grace generously, as the scriptures say, God opposes the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. Kapatid, ang tunay na pagsamba ay nangangailangan ng pagpapakumbaba. Ayaw ng Diyos ang mapagmataas. Ang tunay na pagsamba at pagmamataas ay hindi maaaring magkasama ng ganap. Ang Diyos ay nagbibigay ng biyaya sa mapagpakumbaba at nagsisising puso. 
In Psalms 139, verse 23 to 24, ang sabi po doon, Search me, O God, and, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Friends, we also need to come to the Lord with a clean heart, with no unconfessed sin coming between us and the Lord. Amen? Number four, worship with sacrifice. Pagsamba ng may pagsasakripisyo. Friends, true worship is sacrificial. Ang tunay na pagsamba ay nangangailangan ng nangangailangan na magbigay tayo ng ating oras at panahon gamit ang ating mga spiritual na regalo o kaloob at ang ating mga kakayahan at kayamanan na pinagkaloob sa atin ng Diyos. Friends, in the Old Testament, worship and sacrifice is often went hand in hand. God asked for the best from His people when they made sacrifices to Him. When people did not give the best, their best, God reject it. Kapatid, naniniwala akong nangyayari ito, nangyayari din ito sa ating pana, uh, panahon o panahon ng pagsamba ngayon. Kapag hindi natin ibinibigay sa Diyos ang ating makakaya at lahat ng mayroon tayo sa ating pagsamba sa Kanya, naniniwala akong hindi ito katanggap-tanggap sa Diyos. Friends, when we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, means it in all areas of our lives will be sacrificed to God. Muli, ang sabi ni Pablo sa Romans chapter 12, na ialay natin ang ating mga sarili bilang isang handog na buhay, banal at kalugod-lugod sa Diyos. Ito ang karapat dapat na pagsamba natin sa Diyos. Amen. Kapatid, gawin at sundin natin ito ng may tunay na pagsamba sa Diyos nang sa ganon ang buhay natin ay tiyak na Kanyang pagpapalain. Amen. Purihin natin ang Diyos. Number five, worship with our life. True worship is a whole life response to God's greatness and glory. Kapatid, ang na ang naaangkop na tugon natin na sa lahat ng ginawa ng Diyos sa atin ay ibigay natin sa Kanya ang ating sarili bilang isang banal na handog. Ang pagsamba ay hindi lang sa ating mga sinasabi at mga ginagawa. Ito ay dapat na nakikita sa pang-araw-araw nating pamumuhay. Kapag natutunan nating sambahin ang Diyos ng may malinis na puso at may pagpapakumbaba sa bawat oras, sa bawat sandali ng ating buhay, ay ganap nitong babaguhin ang paraan ng ating pamumuhay. Amen? Amen. Friends, as a believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we sacrifice our lives daily for His purpose and plans, not in our own personal motives and plans. We are taking up our cross daily and always trusting the Lord to lead us in the right direction. Our continual sacrifice is an offering of worship to Him out of gratefulness for the things He has done for all of us. Amen? Praise God. Finally, brothers and sisters, worship God only. Kapatid, sumamba lang tayo sa Diyos. In Luke chapter 4, verse 8, Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. It is tempting for every person to worship someone or something other than the Lord. Maraming beses na dumating sa buhay natin na mas sinasamba natin ng pera, mga libangan, trabaho, ang ating bahay at iba pang material na bagay. Maaring hindi tayo yumuyuko sa kanila ng pisikal. Ngunit maari nating mas nabibigyan ang mga makabundong bagay 
kaysa sa ating Diyos. In Exodus chapter 34 verse 14, You must worship no other God, for the Lord whose very name is Jealous is a God who's jealous about His relationship with you. Friends, the Lord doesn't accept second-rate worship. He desires all worship to be firmly directed towards Him and nothing else. Worshiping God is not to be taken lightly or presumptuously. The Lord is holy, majestic, and powerful. We worship Him in the manner that is worthy. There's a spiritual awareness of God's presence in those who've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord. As a result, we careful to respond to the Lord in peace during times of worship so, so that all attention is directed towards Him and not to ourselves. Friends, true worship is accepted by God from those who are a part of the body of Christ and live truthful lives. When we worship God in sincerity, with clean heart and mind, He encourages our spirit to enjoy His presence over our lives. And true worship flows from our total love and devotion to God. We will never fully know our Lord until we have a heart to worship Him. Amen and amen. Let's all pray. Father God, today we choose to put you first in our lives and we acknowledge that without you, we can do nothing. We invite you to have your way in our lives as we seek you first in all that we do. Lord, we thank you for making us your sons and daughters and for all the blessings that you have given us. We want to surrender to you completely and present ourselves as a living sacrifice before you, before you each day. Take, to take up our cross daily and present ourselves to you as a spiritual act of worship. Lord, open our eyes to see you and to see you more. Open our ears to hear you and open our hearts to worship you more and more so that we may grow in grace and in a knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. Church, we hope that you've been blessed by the word today. Thank you and see you again next Sunday. Stay safe and God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Brother JR, for sharing and encouraging us by the message for today. Surely, the Lord is happy and proud to us he insists that we are worshiping Him in spirit and in truth. And let us always remember that worship is a lifestyle. And everything we do, we must glorify Him because He is worthy of it. And here in our church, one way we honor and obey God is through our tithes and offerings. Through your giving, we're able to support the ministry of our local church to bring the gospel to the community and help out in our local missions. So thank you for your obedience and faithfulness to God. And surely, our God who is faithful will honor you and bless you. And as we give, allow me to pray for our giving today. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings and for all the provisions. Marami salamat po sa buhay na binigay niyo sa amin. Uh, bless the works of our hands and bless those who are in, in need. And bless, Father God, those uh, yung may mga pusong bukas sa kanilang um, nagbibigay. Panginoon, at nagbabalik para sa inyo. We praise you, we love you, and this name we pray, Amen. And for those who need counseling and prayers, you can also message us here on our Facebook page, or you can call or text us by the number showing on your screens. And for our latest announcements and activities, you can also like and follow our Facebook page at Champion Life Center Philippines. Or if you want to watch the replays of our Sunday celebration, 
you can also subscribe on our YouTube channel at Champion Life Center Philippines. And what's up, LP? We also have our social media pages on Facebook and on Instagram at Living Group Youth Philippines. So be sure to follow us so you can be updated. Thank you for your continued support to our church and thank you all for joining us today. We hope that you are encouraged with the message by Brother J.R. Hidalgo. Thank you for being here with us and join us again next time. Stay safe, God bless, and we look forward to seeing you again. Bye!